If you want some chicken that is packed with so much flavor, then keep watching. Welcome to my channel and if you are new here, I welcome you and I hope you stay. I hope you subscribe and be part of my family. And if you're a coming back subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And let's get started. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right. So what I'm doing here, I am cleaning my chicken. I am removing these yellow translucent skin. Um, if you soak your ch chicken for about five minutes, it will loosen up those uh, yellow translucent skin and you'll be able to remove it easily. So I just added the vinegar in my water to clean my chicken thoroughly. To season our chicken, we'll need some fresh ingredients, some onion, some garlic, and some ginger. I used one medium onion, seven cloves of garlic, and one tablespoon of ginger. After chopping everything up, I'm putting it in my blender to blend it into a paste. I will be adding uh, two tablespoons of oil that will help uh, add moisture to my chicken. And this oil will also help my seasoning stick to my meat. Now that my chicken is nicely cleaned, I will be adding my paste and also um, one and a half teaspoon of salt to start seasoning my chicken. So I have this chicken seasoning that I got, but you can completely make the seasoning at home. The seasoning contains black pepper, white pepper, it contains coriander, thyme, cumin, oregano, um, paprika, all those powerful and strong herbs will really add some delicious flavor to your chicken. So I'm just using a wooden spoon to blend everything. You can definitely use your hands, but I wasn't using my hands because I ran out of gloves and I didn't want to use my bare hands because these spices really have a strong scent. So I didn't want my hands to smell like that. Um, so I was like, no, let me use a spoon to blend it. But if you feel comfortable using your hands, you can definitely go ahead. And when seasoning your meat, you really have to give it time to absorb all the seasoning and the fresh ingredients that you have put in it. So for me, I'm going to let my chicken uh, stay overnight and cook it the next day. And over here, I am actually reducing my oven 
to 285 because I like to slowly cook my chicken. I want to make sure that it is fully cooked inside before I crank up the heat. And I will be using this chicken leg rack that I got from Amazon where you, all the juices will be falling at the bottom and the drumsticks will be hanging on top. So this is after 25 minutes, I let my chicken cook um, inside and now I am about to crank up the heat so that my chicken can start turning into a golden brown color. I'm going to crank it up to 350 degrees and this plate right here is what I'm going to use to plate my uh, drumsticks. It is so pretty. I love it. I got it from at home and it was definitely on sale. So I was like, I'm going to get that. And here I am adding some onions to get it caramelized. I will put these onions on top of my chicken after it is done cooking. After 15 to 20 minutes, your chicken will be looking like this. It will have a nice golden brown color on it. And what I'm doing, I'm just taking the extra juices, rubbing it back on the chicken to just make sure it is still moisturized. And when your chicken is looking like this, basically it is done. It is ready to eat. And I have plated my chicken like so and guys it was uh, my chicken was so tender because first of all i cooked it on slow heat and then second of all i cranked up the heat to brown it on the outside to get that golden brown color so here are the results Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you're going to give this recipe a try. And I will see you on my next video. Have a great one.